and this is a quick video to show you how to configure folders and virtual folders using IIS, Internet Information Services Manager. Virtual folders are useful because they allow you to glue together folders that are stored across your server, one or more folders, and make them appear as if they're just in the one place in your web tree. They're useful for us because we can create a project file in our virtual folder. So first of all, let's just confirm IIS is running. So I open up a browser, hit localhost, and sure enough, there's the IIS. If I now switch to the IIS manager, here it is, you'll see I have a default website. What I can do is I can right mouse click there, and I can select add virtual directory. Let's just click that. And two things now, I can enter in an alias, or this is the, the name of the folder that appears to the person using the website, and the physical folder name, which doesn't have to be the same at all. So let's call this, just to prove the point, something different. So if I call this my web, for example, and the physical path for this, I'm going to go to the C drive, I'm going to make a new folder, I'm going to call that new folder something different, so Steve's website. Remember my mantra of lowercase no space. So there's that folder and that's that's all there. I can just OK that now. And now I have a new virtual folder called my web. If I just now come across to the uh, computer here and I go into the C drive, I should be able to find that folder. Where is it? There it is. So this, this folder here, Steve's website, will be um, linked on my website. So for example if I were to create here uh, a small uh, file, file uh, where's my text editor, here we are, so index.htm uh, I see it's still coming up as a text message so I have to change the uh, hiding the extensions so there's hiding extensions for known file types. I'll just turn that off. There it is. So let's, if I just rename that and get rid of the text at the end, there we are. So this is now a web page, and I can edit that with Notepad. And for example, I'm just going to add a, a short program here. So I'll just say HTML H1. Hello world, H1, and finish HTML, there we are. So I think that will work, it's obviously not got all the rest of the HTML in it. So now if I come across to the uh, my local host and uh, I just check the name of the folder which is my web, so I should be able to browse to my web. Notice I didn't have to put the name of the file index.htm because that is the default file name. If I just come back to IIS Manager, you'll see over here I have the default document here and I can open that up.